what you thinking of? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So believe it or not, I am actually moving out of this house in around two weeks-ish. And over the year that I have been here, I have somehow managed to accumulate a lot of stuff. So today I thought I'd go through my wardrobe and this rail and this chest of drawers as well and clear out all of the clothes that I don't wear that often or I don't need or I don't want to take with me because I'm moving to Copenhagen mid-August time and because I'm obviously moving abroad I don't want to take loads and loads of stuff with me because the more I take the more I have to pay and also it is just so unnecessary having this amount of stuff in the first place so I want to get rid of a lot of stuff. I've also got Sid down here as you've probably seen from the Hi intro. guys! <laughs> I'm not really sure what his purpose is in this video yet but we are isolating together currently so kind of can't get away from him. <laughs> So starting with this rail here, this has jackets and then little tops at the end here, which really doesn't make sense in terms of organization. Starting off, I already know that I'm gonna sell this coat. I'm sure this would actually be quite useful in Copenhagen because it's so warm, but I haven't worn it like at all really during the winter in Leeds. I've only worn it a couple of times, so it doesn't really make sense to ship something as big as this over if I'm not necessarily gonna wear it. Next we have two leather jackets. So I've got this leather blazer and then I've just got a normal leather jacket and I think I'm gonna sell both of these because once again, I just don't really wear them that often. I will always reach for my puffer. Regardless of the outfit, I just always seem to wear this. So I'm definitely gonna keep this and I may as well sell things like these because jackets are so bulky. Next we have this fluffy cropped hoodie and this is like the perfect night out jacket because it's got a really big hood so it's great if it rains and it's cropped as well so it looks a little bit more dressy I guess. This looks like exactly the same jacket. It's also from Urban Outfitters and it's just a little bit longer. It's more of like a cozy one. It's not really like a coat. And I'm not really sure what to do with this because I do wear this quite often in winter. However, it's one of those things that I own quite a lot of, like these kind of jackets that I just throw on at home. So I don't know if to maybe give this one to charity. This little jacket is from Nguyen and I think I'm gonna keep this because this is one of those jackets that like the last one I just throw on at home but I can also layer this one up really well because it's got a hood. This is my only denim jacket so I'm gonna keep this just because I do wear it quite a lot in spring and summer. Next we have this Adidas Windbreaker. I think I'm gonna keep this just because it's a really good summertime jacket. I found recently that the weather's a bit warmer that I have actually been wearing this quite a lot. This white hoodie I got from Depop. I'm probably gonna give this to charity I think just because I also have this white one which is also from Depop and I wear this one a lot more than this one and there's literally no point having two of exactly the same jacket. Now on to the little tops that I have on this rail. This is a brown zipper from Tala and I love this so I'm definitely keeping this one. This is a white t-shirt from the brand Fiorucci. <laughs> I really don't know how you say that, but I'm gonna sell this on Depop because I just do not wear this often enough to justify keeping it. This is a little black wraparound from Tala and it's really nice, but I just don't wear it that often. I don't really reach for it because it's quite formal looking. This little black crop top is from Tala and I'll keep this because it's just a useful thing to have. Same with this Adidas crop. I do wear this quite a lot in summertime. This top as well I will keep because it's just a plain black strappy top, so very useful. Here we have two tops from Urban Outfitters, both on the same hanger because I was clearly running out of hangers, but these are those v-neck tops that you might have seen on TikTok. I have the white one and the black one just because I think they're super flattering, so I got them in both colours, and I'm definitely going to keep these because I wear these a lot for drinks and just like nicer occasions when you need a nice top but one that's not too fancy. This is a little crop rolling stones top and I'll probably sell this on Depop because I really don't wear this 
that often anymore. Also because I literally have a Tala top that is so similar. So I really don't need two nude colored crop tops. Same with this top. I have this little high neck top and I don't really know what to do with this because it is really cute. However, I just don't wear it that often, which means I should probably sell it. This top I'm gonna see if my sister wants because I just don't really wear it that often anymore and she has one that I gave her like this so I know that it will fit her and I know that she'll probably want this one too. This top is from Depop, it's Brandy Melville and I wear this all the time so I'll definitely keep that one. This top I got from Depop, it's a little halter neck that I think that's supposed to be off-white, obviously it's not actually off-white but I think I will probably Give this to my sister, I think she'd want this. I was calling you up because I'm finished doing this rail, but what? I obviously have some things on the end of this. Not I don't that. know what to do with. Mind the end of the bed <laughs> <laughs> This is mine. This okay. is my Scotland outfit. Do you want your, do you want the bandana? Oh yes, please, thank you. <laughs> so much for the bag situation. I've just ended up throwing everything on my bed. So this pile here is the stuff that so far I wanna sell on Depop. And then this pile here is the stuff that I'm either giving to my sister or charity. This pile is um, the throwaway pile. this chest of drawers here and I'm probably just gonna time lapse this part of the video because there's really nothing that interesting in these drawers it's just underwear in the top drawer which I don't think I'm gonna deal with today then joggers and pajamas gym wear things like that later on now we've just had a break and had something to eat and watched an episode of Breaking Bad and now I need to tackle my wardrobe. In here I mainly have jumpers like all of that is hoodies. No one needs that amount so we're definitely minimizing that. And I've also got some jeans at the end there, some tops there like it's all a bit of a jumble in there. So starting this end I've got a skirt here. I've only recently bought actually so I will be keeping those. Got four pairs of jeans here. I do actually wear all of these so I will be keeping them. I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and keep one color of each hoodie so like this is my only white hoodie that's like this so I think I'm gonna keep that one. This little crop jumper I got from Depop and I've only worn it a couple of times because I just don't think this collar really suits me very much so I'm gonna put that back on Depop. Next we have this hoodie and I do really like this hoodie. I do actually wear it quite a lot but I don't know if I'd wear it when I go to Copenhagen. Oh my god, this is going to be so much harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought I'd just be able to purge through this section. Okay, so I've got another white zip-up hoodie. This one I wear to the gym, so it does have a slightly different purpose than the other ones. I don't know if that justifies me keeping it or not. I've got a Leeds hoodie here. I'm just going to keep this for the sake of the sentimentality of it because I don't actually actually wear it anymore. I used to wear it quite a bit in first year but I feel like I can't really get rid of things like this. Okay I think I'm just gonna talk through the things that I'm actually gonna get rid of instead of talking through all the things that I'm apparently going to keep. This however I think I am gonna sell on Depop. It's a night bootleg sweatshirt and I bought this from a vintage place originally but I just don't really reach for it that often because it just kind of sits a bit funny on me. I have this hoodie that I also got from Depop. Is a palace hoodie. I'm not entirely sure if it's real or if it's fake. I'm not gonna lie. It is made out of very heavy thick material. Like it feels like really good quality but this sweatshirt I think I'm gonna give to my sister because I don't really wear this anymore but I feel like she might quite like this. Oh my god this hoodie says spread hummus not hate and 
I used to wear this quite a lot. However, I don't reach for it as often anymore. So I think I might sell this on Depop. This cropped hoodie, I think I'm probably gonna give to my sister because same as the other one, I just don't really wear it that often anymore. Next, I've got a few random tops. So things like turtlenecks and basic t-shirts, I'm probably gonna keep. This oversized guest top, I think I'm gonna sell on Depop because I've worn this once, I think, and I've had it for years. Oh my God, I bought this top for my birthday. You can't really see it very clearly, but it's basically like a cropped blazer that you tie up at the front and I just never got around to wearing it because I wasn't 100% on it when I put it on and I feel like because of that I'm not gonna wear it at any other occasion so I'm gonna stick that on Depop. This Opoly top is so nice but it's a little bit too big for me now so that's also going on Depop. Oh my god I just have a flapper girl dress. I can't remember why I've got this up at uni with me. I'll probably take that back home with me or maybe I'll give that to charity. I don't really know what to do with fancy dress. This is the dress that I wore to Oxford Formal and it's so so nice but it is a little bit big for me now and I just haven't worn it since so I'm probably gonna sell that. The final thing is I just have this box of night out tops in my wardrobe so I'm gonna quickly sort through this. Okay I'm gonna keep this top so I wear this all the time. Oh, this is a black dress. I don't really wear it that often, so I'll probably sell that. Oh my God, this Tala top is really nice, but once again, I never really reach for it. Same with this zebra top. I used to wear this green top all the time on nights out in first year, but I don't think I'd reach for it now, so I'll probably sell that. This black top is really nice. It's kind of just like a strappy one. I don't really know how to show you, but I think I'll probably sell this because I literally had to tape the whole thing down when I wore it out on a night out, so it is just a bit of a faff. This little Dior top's very cute, but I don't really wear this anymore, so I think I'm gonna sell that. I've got a random glove in here. Definitely not one for nights out. This is an off-the-shoulder bodysuit. Once again, very cute, but I just never really reach for it. Oh my god, that has really, really minimised that box. I am quite happy with that reduction. So this is everything that I have cleared out. This bag and this bag are both going on Depop and then this bag is going to charity and that bag is going to my sister. And oh my God, everything is just so much clearer now. Like look at that rail, that's literally halved. And all of these drawers as well have so much less stuff in them. The wardrobe as well also isn't overflowing now. I still need to organize this because it still doesn't really make sense how I've organized it. I'm actually very happy about everything that I've managed to clear out. It is a lot of stuff. And our job this weekend is to actually get all of this up on Depop, which is gonna take ages, but it's a good job that we are stuck inside all weekend still. What, are we sleeping on the floor or something? Your photographer. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. I'll also link my Depop down below as well. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>